Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys some books that I won at Yelk, arcs that I won at Yelk, and kind of like go from there really. So like I explain to you as I go through. I'll start off with the arcs that um, I managed to uh, win. Um, so this one was actually free to take from the table. It is already out. This is All That It Ever Meant by a Blessing Miss Ariri. Um, it's a coming of age road trip set in Zimbabwe and England. It has real life issues of family, love, loss and British slash Shona identity. A celebration of self-expression and the imagination and it features a gender neutral character. It's a contemporary way woven with magical realism and a breathtaking plot twist. So yeah, this is now out. Um, the lovely people at Zephyr Books, um, Head of Zeus, um, had the arc of this. Um, it also came with a nice bookmark. So yeah, this is the, the arc copy. And they just said like it was free to take. So I got that. And then um, on Twitter, Scholastic were running the giveaway to win an advanced copy of Jay McGuinness's new book. And I had an email I managed to win. So this is Blood Flowers. It comes out February next year. This is the art copy. Um, I did also meet Jay and get it signed. So he did pop it there so that's quite exciting so i will like share this later as well um in a different video with like all the books i managed to get signed um but i'm actually really excited um to give this a read it's perfect fans of the hunger games the atlasis and the body goes books um so yeah really really happy that i managed to win a copy of that i also managed to win a copy of Kaylin Bayron's new book which doesn't come out until June next year. This is Sleep Like Death um, and it says uh, it's a YA Snow White retelling that brings a new and exciting voice to the familiar tale. That is all I've literally got about <laughs> this book. Um, pretty much um, only the, the true desperate and foolish seek out the knight, an ancient monster who twists, wishes into curses. Eve knows this firsthand. One of her mothers was cursed by the knight and trapped in the body of a songbird. With the unique abilities to communicate with animals and conjure weapons from nature, Eve has trained all of her life to defeat him. With more and more villagers harmed by the knight's corrupt deals, Eve believes that she's finally ready to face him when Cream Regina begins acting strangely, talking to seemingly no one, isolating herself and lashing out at the slightest provocation. Eve must question if her powers are enough to save her family and her kingdom. Perfect for fans of Cinderella is dead. So there you go. If you enjoyed Cinderella is dead, you will enjoy this next one so yeah keep your eyes out for that one excited to have that i've got here on silver ties by sylvia bishop this is published by anderson press um this comes out sometime next year in 2024 i managed to win this um this was on the competition of guess how many jelly sweet fish were in the jar I managed to get it um so Yes, as her Calder and her family are silvermen and hidden people who have the ability to swim like fish and breathe through their skin. Yet, Calder's little sister is born different. The family must protect her from those suspicious uh, suspicions on their community from her very existence and it is forbidden and the whole family is in danger. When betrayal comes, the girls escape on a desperate journey across Britain's waterways. To save her sister, Keldon must brave monstrous creatures at every turn and delve into the darkest depths of the secret history. So yeah, it sounds really interesting. Love the cover to this book. But yeah, like this isn't released yet, so I was really excited to win it. Um, managed to win this book, which is Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Frodi Darbiki Yimidi. Um, this is the author of Ace of Spades. Um, so there was like this really cool game um, that went along with this book to win. This is a really chunky book. Like there's 
almost 600 pages i don't know there's like f over 550 560 i don't know oh my goodness like this crazy um so yeah this comes out march next year um it says it's explosive and twisty and unputdownable the dark academia mystery of 2024 so it says here welcome to alfred noble academy Said Hussein is a new girl. She has no idea what to expect of her mysterious new boarding school. She didn't imagine her roommate Elizabeth would go missing on her first night or for people to think that Said has something to do with it, especially when another student is then found dead. Secrets haunt the hallowed hall, secrets that rival even Said's own. So it's a slow burn, it has a slow burn sapphic romance, boarding school vibes, dark academia and dark secrets and dark hearts so there you have it it sounds really cool so yeah look out for this one and then the lovely house of zeus had this arc that they gave and um, this is the book of love by kelly link and this comes out february next year and it's gonna publish around sometime like valentine's day time so it says here laura daniel and mo disappeared without a trace a year ago they have long been presumed dead which they were but now they're not it's up to the resurrected teenagers to discover what happened to them revived by mr annabin the man they knew as their high school music teacher they offered a chance to return to the mortal realm if they can solve the mystery of their deaths learn how to use the magic they now possess and identify the mysterious fourth soul that crossed back over with them but their return has upset a delicate balance that has held just for millennia. Sounds interesting, but there's quotes here from Cassandra Clare, uh, Holly Black and Lee Bardugo. So I feel like this is going to be really cool and interesting. So yeah, February next year. Really excited for that one. And then I have got here another arc that I managed to win. This is Not Like Other Girls by Meredith Adamo. Um, and yeah so this comes out april next year from bloomsbury it says here joe was the perfect popular high school girl until nude photos of her were shared online and now she is failing in class and her friends have deserted her and her admirers have turned their backs and she has become an outcast her former friend maddie disappears everyone says that she's run away but then joe is not convinced and as she searches for the truth she uncovers disturbing revelations about their classmates and her past how does joe know whose story to believe and it's hard enough to figure her own sounds really cool look at this like i don't know it's like a mirror or something like so that's like really cool uh then i've got here the love interest this is also by bloomsbury this comes out june 2024 it's a swoony hilarious heartfelt wire rom-com with a fresh and funny take on the conventions of the superhero verse from debut author helen comerford so it's their debut book which is really cool oh yeah and this was the one where the author was there so like um when i um won the books the author was there and they managed to sign it so that was quite cool as well sign and personalize it um so it's about 17 year old Jenner who lives in the quiet coastal town of nine trees despite its picturesque nature it's also the epicenter of the next prophecy it's said that in the year 2024 a new hero will emerge in nine trees an event that's usually accompanied by a catastrophic disaster when blaze the new hero does arrive Jenna has the misfortune of being the first person that he saves in the eye of the public that means one thing Jenner has already been the cast as the love interest so yeah it sounds really cool and interesting the author was absolutely lovely and is so beautiful and then uh, another book um that i won is lily's just fine by jill stewart so this comes out 2024 um this is about lily who couldn't have planned their life better they live in the best house in town and they're dating the popular girl in school um and they're dating the popular boy in school everything else she can fix but mum's apathy is on it the stuffy gala committee watch this space tom has enough in his plate without trying to drag newton's st cuthbert into the 21st century his sister is sick there's nothing anyone can do 
not doctors, not his parents, not his parents, and certainly not Lily Hildebrand. Yeah, like, uh, and as I'm flicking through it, it goes Lily and Tom, so it's like multi perspective too. I feel like this is cool. I don't know, I feel like it would be a great contemporary to read. Um, next of all, I have got here, this is just an exclusive sampler. The author was giving away like proof copies, but I wasn't able to be at the publishing stand at the time. So when the author was signing, when I was leaving the queue for one, um, I sort of like asked, I was like, will you be able to sign the exclusive sampler for me? Um, at least I've got a sample to read of it. Um, so this is The Principle of Moments by Esme. Jakimi Pearson. So yeah, this is the sample of it. Um, and yeah, this doesn't come out until... I think this comes out possibly in the new year. Um, so yeah, it says here, it's a science fiction like you've never seen it before. She's searching for the emperor who stole her sister. And he's searching for the prince who stole his heart. The entire universe is at stake. But yeah, they're really sweet and they did sign and personalize the chapter sampler so yeah that's that <laughs> um and then yeah i was able to um from when i purchased some books i was able to pick up an arc i was allowed to pick up an arc so i picked up this one and that's these deadly prophecies by andrea tang um so yeah and this actually doesn't come out until february next year so says here being an apprentice one of the world's most famous sorcerers has its challenges tabitha saying didn't think they would include solving crime when their boss the infamous fortune teller sorcerer solomon predicts his own brut brutal death and it comes true they find herself caught in the crosshairs the police have their sights set on her and Callan solomon her solomon her murdered boss's younger son with suspicion swirling around them, the two decide to team up and find the real killer and clear their own names once and for all. Serving a mold it. <laughs> Solving a murder isn't as easy as it seems, especially when the suspect list is mostly the rich and connected and magical members of Sorcerer Solomon's family. Tabitha can't quite escape the nagging voice in her head asking just how much can she really trust Callum Solomon. Nothing is as it seems in this quick-witted and fantastical murder mystery. <laughs> So it sounds like really interesting, so that's why I chose that arc. Um, and then um, one of the publishers, Little Tiger, was doing a Wheel of Genre spin and you have a like a quiz. And um, so mine landed on, I think it was LGBTQ or I really can't remember now it was either coming of age maybe maybe it was coming of age um but yeah I think it was coming of age and yeah I had to answer a question of like complete the title of the book that became the movie the perks of being a and I was like wallflower so I won this book which is only this beautiful moment by Abdi Nazimian so yeah I won this um never heard of this before but it's not long been released actually by the publishing company um so that's really cool i think it literally has released this month so it says here 2019 mood is an out gay teen living in los angeles with his distant father saeed on a visit to see his grandfather bobby in iran the revelation of the family secrets will force mood into a new understanding of his history and his culture and himself 1978. Said is an engineering student with a promising future ahead of him in Tehran. When his parents discover his involvement in the country's burgeoning revolution, they send him to safety in America, a country Said despises, where he's forced to live with the American grandmother that he never knew existed. 1939. Bobby, the son of the calculating Hollywood stage mother, lands a coveted MGM studio contract with the fairy tale world of glamour he's tossed into has a dark side. Set against the backdrop of Terran and Los Angeles, this intergenerational tale is an ode to the fragile bonds of family and the hidden secrets of history and all the beautiful moments that make us who we are today. It's a queer and epic defiant piece of art that was what is quoted on the back there so that's quite interesting that's like three generations starting with bobby then Syed in the mood that's like quite cool and interesting i really like the sound of that 
um, and then there was a horror question of like ghost face as well um, of like what movie they're from and of course the answer is Scream so the book that was one is Savage Island by Bryony Pierce are you the best and driven to succeed one million pound prize to get five friends entering a geocaching uh geocaching competition stranded on a remote island off the scottish coast they realize it's no ordinary challenge the teams are determined to win two even if it means getting rid of the opposition permanently i love books where they are like stranded on an island it's one of my favorite ever like tropes so I'm really excited also when I won this um, I was allowed to choose a another book for free and then I was recommended this book um, I do own not my problem but I was recommended this one the falling in love montage by Kiara Smith um, which is about Sasha who's got a simple plan for the long hot summer before uni party watch horror movies forget all our troubles by kissing girls between getting over her ex and dealing with the pain of a mum's illness they feel they deserve a break then enters Ruby who is a rom-com fan an optimist and the prettiest girl that Sasha's ever seen Sasha doesn't want to get into another relationship Ruby challenges her to try some romance with the serious parts left out just like in the movies but what happens when the falling in love montage ends but yeah, I hear good things about this one actually, so I'm really glad I managed to get that. And then finally, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a book that I couldn't believe that I won. So there was a competition hosted by Penguin, and yeah, it basically was that you had to guess the next title of B. Fitzgerald. So B. Fitzgerald is the author of Girl, Goddess, Queen. And you had to guess the next title of the book. And the closest person would win a special edition that is sticks inspired that nobody else has. They don't sell in the shop. So it's very like rare. And um, there were clues. And yeah, I was just like, what? I changed my title like two, three times. <laughs> until I finally submitted I was literally just like you know what I'm just gonna submit it and I submitted um Apollo crowned in gold um because I thought that on the cover there was like the the crown and it's a sort of crown with the golden leaves that Apollo would wear um and I um I thought that like in a video when they were like pointing to a part I thought it was like pointing to a golden curtain so I was like thinking like oh it's like gold and the crown it's Apollo's crown so I was just like you know Apollo crowned in gold um and yeah I got an email literally I was in the queue and I think I was in the queue um for Catherine Catherine Weather and um, Kat Doyle and yeah I literally just got the email and I was like what so um, when I finished with them I had one more signing I needed to go to and then I went to the penguin stand and I literally like I, I got over there I was kind of like power walking really fast and then um, there was people like, in front of me and the book was there under this like beautiful like glass dome and these people in front were like oh is this person won and claimed it yet and i was just sitting there like well <laughs> and i shared the email and they just like uh, they lifted the lid and they were like here you go and they're like bees here she can like sign and personalize it for you um I just couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. So here it is. So Girl Goddess Queen by B. Fitzgerald. The limited special edition. Sticks inspired. Look how gorgeous it is. It's so pretty. And then just on the inside as well. Like there's this. And it's just gorgeous like here as well. Like just really pretty here. And on the side and on the back. And here oh my god it's just so pretty and gorgeous and i just like <sighs> just so happy but yeah so we managed to also sign and personalize this one i wanted 
so yeah dear katie bring some chaos i've yet to actually read the book i'm really ashamed to admit i do have it um i remember getting it when was it that i got it like a month or so ago and i just still haven't got around to reading it so maybe this is an inspiration katie to give it a read but yeah definitely the icing on the cake this happened literally on sunday the very last day of yauk and i just couldn't believe that i won it and i'm just really excited so yeah i'm looking forward to giving this book an actual read i do have my other book that i did get signed by b um so yeah b was absolutely lovely so i've got two books signed by b now which you know of course is great so those are the books that i'm sharing with you in today's video that i won advanced copies of or like one books of um from their little like games and giveaways throughout the day and yeah i'm really excited so yes i know it's like additional books to my tbr i don't really care of course I, i'm excited that i've got some books that release next year and i'm looking forward to giving those a read as well yeah because definitely given me a lot of books to read so yeah I went home from London with a lot more extra books definitely I feel like I just had like double the amount that I returned with so yeah I mean I feel like everybody came back from York with a lot of books so I mean that's kind of like what happens so there you have it guys so yeah let me know what book you're the most excited about also let me know if you've read girl goddess queen and what you thought about it if you've read it and like yeah what book you're most excited about if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up all of my social media links will be linked down below if you like to follow me elsewhere twitter instagram goodreads it's all there but that's it for me guys keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye